Hey guys, you are watching teachers and in this video I will show you the programs that are in problem solving through C in NPTEL course. So in week 3 and program 1, it is given that to find the area of a circle given its radius, the value of pi is 3.14. So you can see in the program that the library classes are already mentioned and pi is defined as 3.14 which we can use in our program it will be a constant and we can use it to do calculation so integer radius is already taken float area so their scanf function uh, scanf statement takes the radius from the user and now we have to write the next part so the area will be pi which is in caps into bracket in brackets it will be radius into radius because a area of a circle is equals to pi r square radius into radius okay after that is already given print area of the circle area n which is to print the area and then the closing brackets so now let us submit and see what will be the result so we got one to one out of one test pass and the score is 100 so our program is correct next we will write second program write a C program to check if a number is 0 positive negative using else if else statement so first the similarly from like the previous one the library classes are included and in main double number number which is being inputted from the user so now we have to write the program so we have to use if condition to check whether it is equals to zero or not so if number equals to equals to zero then we will print out the following statement which have to we have to copy from the above because nptl compiler only understands or only follow what is they are given and it, it arises problems if we do on our own so after if if we can either use else if and else or we can similarly we can use if 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 for three functions three conditions so we will use if else if and else so for this we will write else if number greater than zero so it will be a positive number so if it is greater than 0 we will print out print a positive number copy this and paste it here okay so now after this since we have used if else if so we have to use else or else it will give an error so we have to use else so if it is not 0 and it is not greater than 0 it will be obviously less than 0 so this is how we will so we for this we don't have to write any condition and it will be automatically understood by the compiler so for this we will print the middle line or print as negative number copy that and paste it back in the command so now we will submit and check whether our program is running correctly or not and it's zero out of zero test passed so let us see what is the problem so first we have used else if and if or else okay so let us see if else if is creating a problem oh see the problem is here in the previous program the closing brackets of the main function was already given and in this the closing brackets is not provided so we have to close it and then submit and subscribe our channel and visit our site teachers where we upload many programming tutorials such as python java and many other programming languages where you can find all the videos in same place thank you for watching and i see you guys next time